name is Ariane Sudenfield. Hi, I'm John Uera. Hi, I'm Mary Grace Sansate, and we are occupational therapy students from Western New England University. First off, we would like to thank Unlimited Wellness and Single Handed Solutions LLC for collaborating with us. We also wanted to thank Handspring Clinical Services for partnering with us for this program. And we hope you enjoy the virtual based adaptive sports program. Thank you. Hi, I'm Deborah Latour. I'm an occupational therapist and I also happen to have a congenital limb difference where I was born without my right arm at the transradial level. I've been wearing a prosthesis since I was about one year of age. Now, at this point in time, I have several. The device I'd like to show you today is my activity specific device. First, I'd like to show you the socket system. My socket is unique because it has air bladders in it where I can pump up the air bladders. And these air bladders that are located over my la uh, lateral and medial epicondyle actually cut my residual limb to help hold the prosthesis onto my very short residual. To don the device, I just put a little bit of hand sanitizer or other similar product to create a lubrication so that I can slide into the silicone socket. I adjust the air bladders so that they are cupping my epicondyles and the prosthesis won't easily be released or removed. This system is called a Nexo system and it consists of four struts that allow for some pliability but are rigid enough to give me support. I have a quick release wrist system so that I can easily and quickly adapt the terminal device and interchange them depending on the activities in which I'm engaging. One of my favorite terminal devices is the Dragon. This Dragon is static um, in that it doesn't move. The wrist position can be changed just by adjusting the wrist button and then locking the device in place. So I can put this device in a number of positions. I typically like to use this device when I'm engaged in any kind of weight bearing activity like yoga or Pilates or if I am doing a bar program I turn it this way so that the contour of the dragon can grab onto a bar and I can move and support myself. I also like that this device has a whole through it so that if I'm doing any work with poles or bars I can simply slide them through and have symmetrical kind of movement. The last feature I want to point out is uh, the friction or the, um, the texture that's located on the weight bearing aspects and this allows almost a, a non-skid type of action so that depending what activity in which I'm engaging I'm not going to fall or, or um, slip. Um, other activities that I use this device for include bike riding because my husband and I have hybrid mountain bikes and this kind of device cups nicely around the handlebars and I can actually um, um, interact with the, the gears on the, the bicycle. So that's this device. By quickly uh, pushing the button, I can change so that now I can put the helix. This is also a favorite device of mine. I can use it to manage the weights as you saw in some of the video clips and I can do that easily by just coiling the helix right around the bars or the uh, little grasping tools of the helix um, so that it is supporting the weight of whatever it is I'm holding. In terms of function, I like to use this device for gardening. And that's because these little uh, tines or whatever we call these grabbers are flexible enough so that I can manipulate them to hold those short, fat handles of the garden tools. The other thing I like about it is that I can use it when I'm watering or even when I'm managing the uh, vacuum cleaner because I can run the uh, hose or the out the um, cord of the vacuum cleaner right through this device to get it out of the way so that I don't trip on it while I'm engaged in these activities. 
These are my two favorites, the Helix and the Dragon, made by TRS.